Turn off or mute your cell phones and turn on your devices at this time. We ask that those two service members in the room may come up with an entire new set of them. We are here.
Service Training Command. Commander of Naval Service Training Command. Welcome to Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarterdeck of the Navy. What an exciting day. It is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest midshipman candidates from New Student Indoctrination, NSI. Thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these young adults. Your support, your encouragement, and your love shaped each to choose to serve their country. As we will witness in just a few minutes, these young women and men have been the center of transformation that has taken place over the past several days. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing their individual limits. Each learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, of dedication. They have commenced the Navy journey and are now part of our time-honored tradition of service to our nation. Each of these midshipmen will play a critical role as the next generation of leaders fulfilling our Navy and Marine Corps mission. They will soon report to their college or university where training will continue. Each will grow, each will develop, each will learn, each will experience, each will transform into their best self to lead our future force. As we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get here. Let us honor the commitment and dedication of these new midshipmen and those who guided them. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. What you are about to witness is special. What you are about to observe will move you. Why? Because your loved one has committed to their nation. Your loved one has chosen to protect and defend our values centered on freedom. I am proud to call each shipmate. So thank you. Thank you for playing a significant role in their lives. I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy this ceremony and celebrate your midshipmen. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise and remain standing for the arrival of the official party, playing the national anthem and the invocation. Time early, strike four bells.
Color guard, parade your colors. Tired of colors. Order! Chaplain still are, but now go by the indication. Let us pray. Source of commitment, source of pride. It's gratitude we give to you for bringing us together, not just one or two. Though not easy, you brought us here through candidate commitment, a moment so dear. No contact allowed for three weeks gone by. Plus, ITE and classes, our grades are fried. But we are so grateful for those who lead and teach. Their dedication clear, caring for people in reach. And now, together again with joy, friends are here and family ahoy. Help us say welcome and express the love that candidates have been holding so close, like a dove. But not candidates anymore, midshipmen now, going forth to lead boldly because they know how. Wherever they go in this world next, they can go there with pride, their abilities blessed. So it's gratitude we give to you for bringing us together, not just one or two. With all thanksgiving and praise, amen. Ladies and gentlemen, please be seated.
The Chipping Candidate Honor Graduate is awarded for achieving the highest cumulative score for performance events. And the Chipping Candidate Toughness Award recognizes the Chipping Candidate who best displayed the characteristics of warrior toughness to not give up and persevere in the face of adversity. The Midshipman Instructor Award is presented to the instructor who epitomizes the model of the NSI Commander's Intent of Mentorship and Leadership. The Midshipman Candidate Toughness Award and the Midshipman Instructor Award were voted on by our Midshipman Instructors. Please hold your applause until the end. Alpha 1, the Chipman Candidate, Honor Graduate, the Chipman Candidate, William Morgan. Alpha 1, the Chipman Candidate, Thomas, the Chipman Candidate, Alexander Perry. Alpha 1, the Chipman Instructor, the Chipman Kennedy Brooks. Alpha 2, the Chipman Candidate, Honor Graduate, the Chipman Candidate, Aiden Williams. Alpha 2, the Chipman Candidate, Thomas, Chipman Candidate, Waylon Fry. Alpha 2, Chipman Instructor Award, Chipman Alexander Johnson. Bravo 1, Chipman Candidate Honor Graduate, Chipman Candidate Robert Leona. Bravo 1, Chipman Candidate Tuffins Award, Chipman Candidate Grant Coffin. Bravo 1, Chipman Instructor Award, the Chipman Courtney Fadden. Bravo 2, Chipman Candidate Honor Graduate, Chipman Candidate Lucas Moore. Bravo 2, Chipman Candidate Toughness Award, Chipman Candidate Aiden Passagero. Bravo 2, Chipman Instructor Award, the Chipman Lucien McKern. Charlie won, Chipman Candidate Honor Graduate, Chipman Candidate Robinson. Charlie won, Chipman Candidate Toughness Award, Chipman Candidate Ramirez Rivera. Charlie won, Chipman Instructor Award, Chipman Nipu. Charlie 2, Chipman Candidate Honor Graduate, Chipman Candidate Award. Charlie 2, Chipman Candidate Toughness Award, Chipman Candidate Bob. Charlie 2, Chipman Instructor Award, Chipman Honor. Delta 1, Chipman Candidate Honor Graduate. Chipman Candidate is a little sweater. Delta 1, Chipman Candidate Toughness Award, Chipman Candidate William Van Dalton. Delta 1, the Chipman Instructor Award, Chipman Jack Deering. Delta 2, Chipman Candidate Honor Graduate, Chipman Candidate Adelaide Burr. Delta 2, Chipman Candidate Toughness Award, Chipman Candidate Economy Burr. Delta 2, Chipman Instructor Award, and Chipman Juliet. Please join me in a round of applause for these outstanding achievements.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's my honor to welcome the friends and families of our midshipmen candidates to today's graduation. Thank you for being here and for tuning into the live stream. I would also like to thank the RTC staff and instructors and the midshipmen, civilian personnel, and active duty staff who came together from universities across the country to train our candidates. Your professionalism and camaraderie have been exemplary and your participation in this training was indispensable to its success. Today is a significant first step in the careers of the 656 future Navy and Marine Corps officers standing in front of us. They stepped off the buses as recent high school graduates and they will leave RTC as fourth class midshipmen. In the 19 days they have spent with us, our goal was to provide the foundation for the rest of their military training. We taught them military terminology, proper wear of the uniform, military customs and courtesies, close order drill, firefighting, basic weapons handling, and seamanship. Through classroom instruction, hands-on practice, physical conditioning, and intentionally intense expectations, they have learned to work as a team, to respond calmly and competently under pressure, and to live by our service's core values. I've rewatched as they began to look and sound like sailors and marines, and as they began to act like sailors and marines, regulating themselves and each other, looking out for one another, working together for the good of the team, placing the mission first, and giving their very best to what's in front of them. Each has another four years of education and training ahead, but they have come a long way in a short time and can be justifiably proud of what they've achieved here. To the soon-to-be midshipmen, I'd like to say how proud I am of every one of you. You've worked hard to absorb a vast amount of new information very quickly and under demanding conditions. It's a lot to ask, and you could have walked away. But every day, you made the decision to stick with it, to tough it out, to finish what you started. The grit and character you demonstrated will see you through the rigors of college and ROTC that you're about to embark on, and they'll be the foundation of the leadership you will exercise over the enlisted sailors and Marines who will soon be entrusted to your charge. I wish each of you the very best in that journey. Now it is my pleasure to introduce our guest of honor, Rear Admiral Martin J. Muckian, Commander, Submarine Group 2. Admiral Muckian is an Illinois native and a proud graduate of the University of Illinois, where he earned his commission for the NRTC program, graduating with a bachelor's in mechanical engineering. A career submariner, Admiral Muckian's operational experience spans USS Greenville, USS Louisville, and USS Alexandria. He commanded USS Greenville, SSN 72, 772, in Pearl Harbor, Hawaii, leading the ship through two Western Pacific deployments. His leadership extended to Submarine Squadron 6 in Norfolk, Virginia, and as Chief of Staff to Commander Submarine Force, U.S. Pacific Fleet. In staff roles, Admiral Muckian served as flag aide in Naples, Italy, and held pivotal positions in the Bureau of Personnel, managing submarine officer and nuclear officer policies. He served as military assistant to senior defense officials as Commander Undersea Warfighting Development Center, and currently as Commander Submarine Group 2 and Deputy Commander U.S. Second Fleet in Norfolk, Virginia, Admiral Muckian continues to advance submarine capabilities and operational readiness. Ladies and gentlemen, Rear Admiral Martin J. Muckian. Hey, hey, thanks, Captain Hutchin, and uh, well done to you and your team. The, the Machipa candidate looked fantastic this morning. Hey, good morning, everybody, distinguished uh, guests, family members, friends, and most importantly, the 656 Machipa candidates in front of me. So uh, we're going to be here for a minute, so Battalion Commander, put the Machipa candidates at ease. Hey! <laughs> well done. All right, so hey, I want to thank Admiral Madeline for his hospitality, recognize Admiral Reynolds, 
I'd also like to recognize all the officers who listed in the audience today, either uh, as service members or veterans, but most importantly as proud parents or family members. To see a continued legacy of family service is really fantastic. And then I want to recognize the families. It's your hard work, your sacrifice that have allowed these fine young men and women to be here today. And uh, I think we all will run applause to the families. So well done. So if you were not Navy before, you are now part of our Navy family. Okay, so the midshipman candidates before me. Okay, so NSI was not a thing when I was in RTC, so I didn't go through the ceremony, but I've been through ones like this, and I know two things. One is you will probably always remember this day, and two, you will probably not remember me or anything I say. So I'll try to be brief, but I'll also try and give you something to remember. So I am really humbled by the group I see in front of me, I got to talk to some of you uh, earlier today. Uh, I think you represent the best and brightest our nation has to offer. You could literally do anything you wanted to do, but you chose to serve something larger than yourself. You chose to serve the nation and the Navy you're Marine Corps. And I, on behalf of the Navy, am very grateful for that decision. But you need to understand that uh, we have high expectations of you. The nation has high expectations of you. So you're gonna to have to work very very hard over this journey of four years to be ready to take on the responsibilities that commission as an officer in the Navy or Marine Corps. Uh, so you have taken your first step on that journey here at NSI. So congratulations on completing NSI. I have no doubt these last uh, couple weeks have been tough on you, mentally as well as physically, but you're, you're through it now. All right, so what have you learned on this first step? Well. I mean, you may have thought that uh, I learned how to wear my uniform, to march, and memorize hundreds of random facts in my knowledge book. And that is all literally true, but you should understand there's something deeper going on behind me. So I'll just say in my 30 years of Navy service, I haven't done a lot of marching, I haven't had a lot of uniform inspections, but my success, and frankly my life and the lives of my shipmates have absolutely depended on what you have learned, what you have begun to learn at NSI. So what am I talking about? I'm talking about things like attention to detail, the sanctity of integrity and accountability, learning to work through adversity, learning self-discipline on a whole other level, right? Learning that you are more than capable, you're capable more than you thought you were. And most importantly, I'm talking about teamwork, right? The Navy and Marine Corps are the ultimate team sport. We literally live or die by how we work together as a team. You are all impressive people, but recognize that we have a different yardstick here. We don't measure you by what you can do, we measure you by what you can do together with your team. Now, you may be thinking to yourself, okay, that's all very good, I understand that, but did there need to be so much yelling during NSI, right? And the answer is yes, right? So you were put under stress. And stress is an indispensable educator for a naval officer, right? You need to learn to be comfortable with stress, to be able to perform and focus under intense pressure. You know, in my career as a submariner, I have been in my fair share of emergencies under the sea. I have been in some pretty tight tactical spots while deployed, and never did I see any of my shipmates get rattled. Instead, we brushed the stress aside, we focused on what we needed to do as a team to get us out of the situation, and we moved on, right? So if you are gonna to look to be an officer in the Navy Marine Corps, you're gonna have to be very comfortable in uncomfortable situations, and you're gonna to have to learn to deal with stress at a whole higher level than any experience on NSI. So yes, yelling's good. All right, so now is behind you on your next step, college and NROTC. Um, you're going to learn uh, all things about naval history, navigation, operations, engineering, and most importantly, leadership. You're going to spend summers training with the fleet. This is an exciting time. It should be an exciting time. College and NROTC are full of adventures and uh, opportunities. But there's also pitfalls. So permit an old admiral to give you some advice. My first piece of advice is that college is much much easier if you go to class, all right? So go to class, right? So, but in all seriousness, what is NROTC about? NROTC is about learning to be a leader, and leadership 
has to have a solid base of character. So the question you have to ask yourself during your four years of college is, what type of person, what character do I want to be and mold yourself to that? In navigating this journey, I can think of no better guiding stars than our four values of honor, courage, and commitment. All right, honor, be a person of integrity. Keep your word, do not lie, cheat, or steal. Respect the dignity of others. Cultivate high morals. Courage, do not hide from adversity, face it head on. Recognize that physical courage is only half the equation. Have the moral courage to do the right thing, even when it costs you. Commitment, college is full of distractions. Set goals for yourself and pursue them with single-minded determination. You need to study, but your friends want to go have beers? To tell them no, buckle down to study. You want to be a Navy SEAL? Put down the cookie and hit the gym. All right? With commitment, anything is possible. Without commitment, you're going to drift to wherever life takes you. Last thing on college and last thing on building character. Surround yourself with people that make you better. And if you make honor, courage, and commitment your guiding stars, you will make those around you better. And you will be the quality of person we need to wear this uniform and lead the Navy Marine Corps in the future. Understand the uniform you are wearing is not just cloth. It represents the heritage of 249 years of peace and war of service to this country. It represents the men and women who have shed sweat, tears, and blood in this uniform. Right? You must, be, you must have the character to take on that proud legacy. And to paraphrase a much better order than me, honor, courage, and commitment dictate what you ought to be, what you can be, and what you must be. So take that as your aim point. You're off to a great start. You've shown yourself to be highly motivated, ready to learn, and eager to serve our nation. I'm excited for you as you continue this journey. Uh, and I'm excited to see you out in the fleet. Uh, congratulations, midshipmen candidates. All right, so I have a question for you, midshipmen candidates. Are you ready to join me? Are you ready to take the oath? Right? I'll ask that again. Are you ready to join me to take the oath? No! I will now administer the oath. What I say, join. Okay, raise your right hand and repeat after me. Have you been appointed a midshipman in the United States Navy? I solemnly swear. I solemnly swear or affirm. That I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States. Against all enemies, foreign and domestic. That it will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. That I take this obligation freely. Reservation or purpose of evasion. And that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I'm about to enter. So help me God. Families, feel free to congratulate and take photos of your midshipmen from now until 1010.
after which we ask you to depart without more graduates as they will be participating in our final accountability check and transportation. Families who dropped their midshipmen off, we ask you to meet them at Bergie Mall. For candidates who flew in, we ask you to meet them at the airport. Thank you.